pay the price. Charles angrily rejects Meg's request of Lilibet's succession and bans all contact with Harry and Meg. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry allegedly left King Charles feeling sad on his 74th birthday, as the royal couple refused the monarch's request for a video call. The new idea, citing a royal source, reported King Charles wanted to go on FaceTime with Lilibet and Archie on his 74th birthday on November the 14th. However, Meghan and Harry reportedly refused to facilitate the video call. The California-based royal couple allegedly refused to let Archie and Lilibet speak to King Charles because on his birthday the new monarch asked the British Parliament to amend the law to allow two more of his siblings to act on his behalf in his absence. Most recently a royal tradition, King Charles III delivered his first Christmas Day speech as monarch in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death and didn't mention Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The 74-year-old sovereign spoke from the heart on Sunday, December the 25th, becoming the latest British royal to spread holiday cheer throughout the Commonwealth and the first male monarch to do so in nearly 70 years, as he honoured Prince William and Princess Kate's work as senior royals. The Prince and Princess of Wales recently visited Wales, shining a light on practical examples of this community spirit, Charles said in his Sunday speech, as footage played from the 40-year-old Duke and Duchess's public outings. While William and Kate, who share three children, all of whom joined the royals at Sandringham Church service, received a sweet call-out, Charles also devoted time to honour his late mother's legacy, following her death at age 96 in September. I'm standing here in this exquisite chapel of St George at Windsor Castle, so close to where my beloved mother, the late Queen, is laid to rest with my dear father, His Majesty said in his first holiday broadcast. I'm reminded of the deeply touching letters, cards and messages which so many of you have sent my wife and myself, and I cannot thank you enough for the love and sympathy you've shown our whole family. He added, Christmas is a particularly poignant time for all of us who have lost loved ones. We feel their absence at every familiar turn of the season and remember them in each cherished tradition. In the much-loved carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, we sing of how in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. My mother's belief in the power of that light was an essential part of her faith in God, but also her faith in people, and it's one which I share with my whole heart. The holiday address comes weeks after the Sussex couple opened up about their royal exit in the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. The show premiered in two volumes on December the 8th and December the 15th, and featured new details about the growing tension between them and the firm. During the finale, Harry confessed that he had a difficult time reuniting with Charles and Prince William for Grandfather Prince Philip's funeral in April 2021. It was hard. Especially spending time having chats with my brother and my father, they were very much focused on the same misinterpretation of the whole situation. None of us really wanted to have to talk about it at my grandfather's funeral, but we did. The spare author went on to discuss whether he thought he and his family could repair their fractured bond. I've had to make peace with the fact that we're probably never going to get genuine accountability or a genuine apology. My wife and I, we're moving on. We're focused on what's coming next, he said.